magnesium fields is an exhibition that looks at the ever-changing relationship between the physical and digital worlds, explored through the work of two contemporary artists, Juliet Losk and Stuart Sandford. Juliet Losk is a British painter who works in London. Her watercolour paintings depict man-made environments in the process of decline, semi-industrial sites where human occupation has all but departed and nature is regaining control. The intense labour involved in the creation of these paintings contrasts with the abandoned subject matter, as if the physical work that once belonged within these structures had been given a new role in documenting their decay. Juliet's use of watercolour is unusual, as the scale and complexity of the works contrasts with the traditional domestic role of the medium. The unexpected is also a theme in her imagery. There is an implicit presence lurking behind the abundance of detail, an unknown future hovering invisible beyond the decay. This echoes painters such as Albrecht Altdorfer, whose profusive depictions of nature hinted at an unknowable, uncontrollable menace. In this sense, Juliet's paintings are also imaginative theatres where contrasting forces compete. Creation versus dereliction, the tangible versus the imaginary, the visually precise versus the undefined. Water is a frequent motif, its reflections complicating ever further her visual patterns, whilst serving as a medium into which civilization sinks. Their angular compositions also echo 20th century painters such as Anselm Kiefer, whose work speaks both of the passage of time and the accumulation of memory, and also the landscapes of Paul Nash in his responses to the industrial scale of the First World War. Juliet's paintings also represent a view of the natural world, whose perception is fundamentally altered by the experience of technology. They describe the uncertain moment where humankind is re-evaluating its relationship with the physical world, before the seemingly limitless possibilities of digital creation. Stuart Sanford's sculptures explore the rapidly shifting distinction between the virtual and physical realms by revisiting the classical tradition of the ideal human form. Stuart finds the contemporary version of the exemplary in the carefully crafted online self-images that serve as subjects for the gay male gaze. He renders these through 3D scanning to create a digital template of this new archetype, to be then made solid in bronze, marble and basalt, using state-of-the-art sculpturing technologies. A figure, titled Adler Coutio, created with the porn star Sean Ford, depicts a male in white lacquered bronze, gazing into his phone, as if addressing his adoring followers. In classical Roman sculpture, the Adler Coutio was often an emperor, addressing his listeners. Stuart has adapted this to the pose of the selfie or live stream, with an infinitely larger audience beyond. This sculpture is a reworking of the classical myth of the Ouroboros, the snake that eats its own tail. The Ouroboros appears in Egyptian myth as a symbol of perpetual rebirth and became an important symbol in alchemy for union with the divine. Stuart updates this tradition to our self-obsessed times and interprets it as a tale of self-love taken to its narcissistic extreme. This sculpture, The Prisoner, again depicts the idealised male object, this time in the tradition of Antinous, the youthful lover of the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who died young and was worshipped as both a hero and sometimes as a god. Where the Greeks and Romans shied away from generous genitalia, Stuart sculptures do the opposite. They present an unashamed examination of how conceptual and sexual attraction overlap and suggest how our new idealism is rendered in the digital realm. <laughs>